Okay, we have these batteries. What's interesting, these three are brand new from HP. They all failed within a couple of hours of putting in the laptop. This one still works, but it's the old one. These three, new from HP, they don't question them, they just quickly replace them. And we're stuck with these. They're gonna go to e-waste, but I'm curious to see why they actually uh, fail. They pop up the message that fuse blown and it will refuse to charge or turn on the laptop or all kinds of weird issues and the diagnostics gives an error when you're on the HP diagnostics. So we're gonna just have a look at the chip component, see what's really going on in these guys, see if it is really a fuse as reported by the error code. Okay. Shouldn't really be working on these guys. But you know, how are we gonna ever survive without being curious? Okay. Worst case, some gases come up. Maybe die earlier. Okay, let's see the extent. See what's really going on. Now we need to introduce a friend to this, which is not the kind of friend. That is of course a Swiss Army knife. Okay, and let's get the film extractor on just in case there is some kind of a rip.
nearly 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 okay so we can see we got kept on tape here which covers two cables coming into the controller and repeat the process here two cables coming in one two okay so that's our controller Okay, and the middle one is connected there. pretty much it let's disconnect all of these there we are so this battery just disconnect these two Okay. Okay, at this point it's ideal to cover them. Okay, so that's pretty much it, which is driving this laptop crazy with it not charging or whatnot, or fuse is being blown. So let's see what the hell that is about. Okay, so we got, yep, yep. Okay, 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 couple of MOSFETs here, no way, there's a big Q chip, 40, 50 here, no way, cool, it's actually a big Q chip here, that's amazing, so is it the MOSFET that died on these? Okay, so now we got here a short that could be related. Okay, that looks like it may be a diode. Okay, okay. 
Okay, no idea here. This MOSFET is fine. I never knew they used MOSFETs here. Okay, so that's the negative and the positive and data lines. That should, yep, that's good. So where do we get that fuse blown message then? Uh, hmm? There is no short, direct short. The yellow one. That's also ground, okay. Yeah. So that's what I want. And that's what I want, okay. There are a bunch of caps on it. Yeah, so I don't see any issue with this controller. So what the hell is wrong? So then this guy is most likely fine. No idea. Or there's a false sense. Okay, let's check the voltages on each one. Okay, unfortunately, multimeter is not coming up. So here to here. Three point seven six. Yeah. Three point seven six. Three point seven six. They're all good, all three point seven six. Perfect batteries to use in projects. So these batteries they can be repurposed. They'll have a life definitely. Yeah, three, six, nine. So when they're fully charged, nearly 12 volts. That makes sense. So now I'll keep these batteries for future projects like recharging solar and whatnot and giving power when required to small projects. So each one have a potential, yeah. Yeah, just apply a bit of heat, it will just pop out. 
Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.